import and then selecting the image which we want to convert into a DXF. In this case, this kangaroo. You can look at these options, but for now, we won't worry about them. Next, you want to reposition your image into this page-like shape here, because inside here is where your image is actually going to be edited. You can drag it out a little bit if you want. And make sure to select it before editing it, because right now we don't want it to be in color. So we're going to go to path, trace bitmap, click live preview so we can actually see what, what we do as we edit it, and then sometimes you want to toggle these values. For now what I want here is exactly what we have, however say if this was a bit lower, see here how the center lines in here have disappeared, so slowly increase it or decrease it until we get the desired result. Now, the image lines have reappeared, however you see here how the little steps in between. For this example, I don't really want that. You might when you're editing yours, but I'm not really too fond of it. So I'm just going to change it to maybe about 6. Yeah, and that looks alright. I'm going to click OK, then exit. Now it's really important that you remove this and then remove your image. Inkscape puts the edited version on top of your image so perfectly that this is actually hidden. So if you just went ahead and deep imported it as a DXF right away, you'd essentially have two images on top of each other, which if you use Metacam would become very, very problematic. So I'm going to move this back into the here, click File, Save As, change the option to DXF, just call it Skippy with two P's because I feel like it. Units, millimeters, recess. Import, DXF, desktop, Skippy. Yep. Okay, and there we go. Alright, I hope that helped.